Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we are uh, here at the platform of International Conference on Applied Zoology and um, I'm Fatma Bashir and today I'm going to represent the topic uh, under uh, efficacy of zeolite supplemented guar meal based diet on growth performance and body composition of Oreochromus neoloticus. Uh, need for the project. Basically, um, why I have chosen this topic, what is the need of the project, uh, is that uh, the demand for fish consumption is constantly increasing as a source of food and for health benefits. Uh, like Health benefits include uh, uh, that uh, the fish meat contain omega-3 fatty acids, uh, many kind of vitamins and minerals, and um, uh, basically the cost of fish meal is increasing day by day which is a good source of minor incident fatty acids um, unfortunately we cannot afford fish meal and because it increased the um, uh, cost of aquaculture so in order um, so uh, this the uh, need of time that we have to switch from uh, um, fish meal to um, other cost effective and environment friendly um, fish meals uh, like plant meals uh, so, plant byproducts are the promising source of protein and energy and may be used uh, for the formulation uh, of cost-effective and environment-friendly aquafeeds. Uh, guar meal. In, in plants, if we talk about plant meal, guar meal is relatively inexpensive with high protein content, 33 to 45%, and above all, it can be, it can be easily grown in Pakistan. And uh, the uh, supplementation of uh, the supplementation I have done is of zeolite and um, because zeolites are microporous crystalline hydrated aluminosilicates. Uh, zeolites have uh, unique uh, physicochemical characteristics and uh, above all they can be used as uh, immunostimulants. They improve growth performance. They remove uh, nitrogen uh, or you can say they remove ammonia from water and um, uh, they improve the um, gut microbiota and as well as improve the digestive enzyme activity. So I have uh, uh, chosen this main, uh, the main uh, work is done in um, uh, poultry feed. So now I'm using this in uh, aqua feed. And uh, the fish I have chosen is tilapia. Uh, the reason to choose tilapia is that uh, it is one of the most important freshwater fish due to rapid growth and omnivorous eating habits. It is easy to rear. It can easily acclimatize to environmental conditions. Here are the hypothesis and objectives. Uh, the objectives of my study uh, are to reduce the aquatic pollution, to determine the effect of zeolite supplemented uh, guar meal based diet on growth performance, to analyze uh, its effects on uh, carcass composition of fish, and to prepare cost effective and environment friendly aquafeeds. Here, are the method here is the methodology that I have used in my research. Uh, the first of all is uh, fish acclimatization in which uh, the fish was procured from uh, government fish seed hatchery and uh, then it was uh, um, treated with 5 gram sodium chloride solution uh, to, in order to remove the um, uh, ectoparasites and uh, some kind of you can say um, fungal infection. And uh, after that, the fish, uh, 15 fingerlings uh, were stocked in each tank um, and uh, they were uh, fed 5% of their wet body weight to apparent satiation. And the, in experimental layout, we prepared uh, six, uh, six feet uh, in, uh, with the graded levels of zeolite, that is the 0%, 1%, 1.5%, 2%, uh, 2.5%, and 3%. And uh, in feeding protocol, fish were fed two times a day and uh, the tanks were washed properly and uh, the fecal strings were uh, collected uh, and dried in oven uh, so that they can be used for further chemical, anal chemical analysis. Chemical analysis of feed and feces were done. Uh, feed, feces, uh, feed, feces and carcass were done using different apparatuses and methods like uh, uh, crude protein was measured using microgel dollar apparatus uh, and uh, the fat content was measured using ether extraction method and uh, gross energy was measured using oxygen bomb calorimeter uh, statistical analysis. 
statistical analysis were, were in was uh, ANOVA. Funway analysis of variance was used on uh, computer package. And uh, other than that, uh, the difference between means were compared using Turkey's NST significance difference test. Uh, here are the results of uh, my research. Uh, as you can see, the best growth was observed on test type 3 that contained 1.5% zeolite level. And the best weight gain, weight gain percentage, 19.06 and 270 uh, percent, as you can see, was observed in test type 3 that contained level 1.5 percent. And the best FCR and SCR was also observed at this level and 1.5 um, percent died. And uh, followed by the test type 4. Uh, next is the... Um, uh, results of body composition in body composition if you uh, can see the test type 3 again the test type 3 and the zeolite level was 1.5 percent and protein content was found to be 51 percent fat content was 16 percent ash was 7.72 percent and moisture was 10.63 percent crude fiber 1.13 percent and carbohydrates 12.59 percent all these parameters were found to be best at test type 3 and zeolite level 1.5 uh, followed by the test type 4 uh, zeolite level 2 which showed the best results so uh, conclusion in conclusion we can say that zeolite supplementation played major role in improving apparent digestibility coefficient of nutrients and growth performance of orion lotic fingerlings as compared to the control diet and uh, uh, above all, we can say that uh, um, if we want to um, approximate, uh, yeah, uh, I can say that we want to uh, say that what is the optimum level, then it is the test type 3, which contain 1.5% zeolite supplementation, uh, on which the, we can see the maximum improvement in fish performance. Uh, furthermore, supplementation of zeolite in guar meal-based diet leads to economical and eco-friendly fish feed for fish. That's all from my side. These are the references and thank you for attention.